Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at Tobin's Spear Guide, the official Ghostbusters edition. Now, what we got here are the hardback and the paperback. I ordered both of them on Amazon, and I got the paperback first, and then just the other day, I got the hardback. And... I didn't really want to go through the paperback because it was in mint condition, still in the wrapper. I flipped through it a little bit, which is why it's kind of, the first couple pages are slightly warped, but overall it's still in mint condition. Now as you can see, the hardback is red and the paperback is green. The paperback has the official Ghostbusters edition at the bottom. The hardback should have had a sleeve at the bottom, but I guess uh, mine wasn't sent with one for whatever reason. The, the paperback is the Nerd Block exclusive, uh, as you can see at the bottom there. And on this green one, let's take a look at... As you can see, the artwork is pretty much the same on both. The only difference is the coloring and that the paperback says nerd block as you can see on the green one uh, at the bottom ghostbusters trademark and copyright 2016 columbia pictures industries incorporated and the paperback was 14.95 uh the hardback it doesn't really say but i paid i paid about um Fifteen dollars for it, or fifteen to twenty dollars, something like that. Um, and then here on the sides, let's go ahead and angle this down so you guys can see. On the sides, uh, on the paperback, it says Tobin Spirit Guide in white print, while on the hardback, it says Tobin Spirit Guide in black print. Uh, other than that, they're both pretty identical, other than on the green cover it says written by Dr. Ray Stans, Dr. Egon Spangler, and Eric Burnham, illustrated by Kyle Hotz. Um, now, with that being said, I'm going to try not to open this up all the way. But there's the front inner cover. Tobin Spirit Guide Official Ghostbusters Edition. Uh, the foreword by Ray Stans. The afterword is by Egon Spangler. And then we got some info there. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And we'll focus on the hardback. simply because um, I flipped through it yesterday. I read a bunch, uh, quite a few of the pages and I'm not going to mess the binding up on that one like I would on the soft, on the paperback. So anyway, as you can see on the front, there's a ghoul uh, inside the No Ghost logo. The uh, Well, it's inside a circle. The chain that's wrapping around it is actually making the cross section of the no ghost logo uh, at the top you have the face of the stay puff marshmallow man um, I'm not sure whose eye that is on the right hand side uh, on the bottom you got the Sandman and then uh, either Zool or Vince Clortho so then we open it up and it's black Tobin Spirit Guide, and it's done in a style that the pages look old. As you can see there, official Ghostbusters edition, Dr. Ray Stans, Dr. Egon Spangler, and Eric Burnham, illustrated by Kyle Hotz. There's the foreword by Dr. Ray Stans, New York, New York. 
I'll pause a minute and let you read that. All right. So then, section one is the Ghosts of New York. It's got all the different spirits they've encountered. The driver, the class three corporeal, only when it's man. The driver, class three corporeal, only when it manifests in the confines of a taxi cab. Location, Madison Avenue. Uh, the green ghost, AKA Slimer, talks about. The spider witch, the Scolari brothers, I really kind of, I really like the artwork on this. I'm surprised they didn't include Mama Scolari though, because they didn't stick directly with uh, the movies only. They incorporated some from the uh, Real Ghostbusters animated series, as well as from the video game. And I think they, they've even added uh, some from um, the comics. There's the Dream Ghost. I'll let you guys read that. That's from a deleted scene. Uh, the scene did kind of make it into the original movie, uh, only it was shown as a dream sequence, the one where Ray is getting ghost head. <laughs> and after, it says there at the bottom, after extensive research into the matter, we were able to conclu conclude that the that marrying entity was no, was of no danger to the general public. Doctor Stans, nevertheless, continues to monitor monitor the site regularly. <laughs> I bet you do. Um, got animal spirits, elemental spirits, confused spirits, uh, meta specters. We got the Sandman. Uh, Ravana, Brow, The Collectors, The Boogeyman, uh, Hungry Manitou, Boogaloo, Grundle, maybe, maybe that's what that is, that's the, I think that's the Grundle up top there, uh, Killer Watt, No. Well, um, it's either the Grundle or Hestrel. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking it's the Grundle because Hestrel's eyes open a little bit wider, more menacingly. Uh, it talks about Prince Vigo the Carpathian, uh, Sam Hain. And it goes into Gozer and Timot and Vince Clortho and Zool and Stay Puft Marshmallow Man and all these others. Uh, and it even talks about the other chosen forms of Gozer, which is really cool. I do, however, wish uh, Eric Burnham, who wrote this, would have actually included the um, classifications that the Ghostbusters use. Uh, I know in each section, each ghost has its own classification, but it would have been nice if he would have included um, the exact classification that the Ghostbusters use in the movies, TV series, comics, and whatnot. Um, and what uh, determines that classification. Uh, that would have been nice to see. I know you can find it online. In fact, I may do a series on it here in the future. Um, but overall, yeah, I really enjoyed this book. Um, as you can tell, because I got both the hard hardback and paperback. Um, very good for the collection. Um, I, I think the, the paperback is going to go into the archive. 
the collection archive uh, and not get very many, not get handled very often. While the hardback will probably get read more often, uh, it'll go into the library. And yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this um, in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to continue doing more Ghostbusters videos on the channel. I'm also going to be doing some Star Trek Explained videos. Uh, Greg's planning on doing a, uh, more reviews as well. And here in the next couple weeks, when I get a break from classes, I will be doing more History and Origins videos. It's just they take a lot of time to edit. That's why I don't really do very many of those while classes in session and when I'm really busy and loaded down with work and everything else because it just takes it takes me an entire day to edit the the footage plus record the audio write the script and everything else it's just overloaded so um but yeah i do have we did already do uh history and origins of rainbow bright uh tammy recorded the audio for that uh so i've just got to edit it down and then add the video footage and it will be ready to go here soon, probably in the next couple weeks. Um, so yeah, catch you next time, guys. Take care. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.